Jason Elliott back here again and today we're going to be talking about Marvel's What If TV show on Disney Plus. This is a film that I've been, not a film, this is a TV show that I've been very, very excited to watch. From the animation style to the stories that are going to be like solely like one shots and basically animated like comic book style artwork it very much intrigued me and the first episode is about captain carter and what if she became captain britain so i was very interested to see how this is going to go because this is going to portray the world of captain america how it was in the first avenger for the most part yes Though a little bit exaggerated, but I'm willing to forgive it because it is going animated and they have a lot of creative liberties to be as over the top as they want and be as fun as they want. Is it going to go for a much a younger demographic, but it seems like the show has like a TV-14 rating, so it's still going to be like uh, up around the PG-13 standards of a Marvel, of a Marvel movie. So that was pretty cool. The story itself and how Sharon, not Sharon Carter, how Peggy Carter became Captain Britain is all in all pretty similar to how Steve Rogers got to Sarah. Except she has to take the place of Steve Rogers. We know that these characters had hardships uh, trying to get into the position they are in now. And now she is taking the serum. Now, I was worried that she, the show is going to portray her like she is better in Steve than in every way she performs. And Steve is just going to be, be put on the sideline and be a character that is going to be forgettable. I was worried about that. But the show seems to know that these two characters do genuinely care about each other. And even then, still shows that Steve Rogers himself still is willing to go out and fight for his country alongside Peggy Carter who's now Captain Britain who is very entertaining here her excitement when she gets into action in her first fight scene really gets me I love how she's always so surprised of her abilities if she feels like a fish out of water in this scenario but not the right ways it was a really good time this show so far in this episode had a lot of fun with his premise then we get to the Bucky stuff and he seems to be not not willing to work with Peggy and you can kind of understand but he still seems a little douchey too douchey from for my taste I don't think he would have been as douchey here as he was in the first Avenger but this is a new universe so it's a new it's a new uh bucky i i I don't know what else to say all in all this episode very entertaining played out like the first avenger for the most part with some few key differences here and there it is not exactly like that which i'm glad it isn't you know and all in all i had a really good time with it and i'm very excited to see what the Watcher has in store for us next week. Thank you guys so much for watching. Please like, subscribe, comment, and I'll see you guys next time.